Welcome back to Arx Fatalis. Okay, so I looked up what to do to find uh, Zoark, and now I know. In fact, I'm staring at it right now. It is this room, and it is this thing back here, I think. So it turns out this is what you're supposed to do. This thing says sometimes what you see isn't real. Now, when I originally read this, I was thinking it was referring to this, right? Because it's right next to this, and this thing looks kind of weird. But, uh, no. It has nothing to do with that. It's this. Yeah. Observe. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I have a couple things to say about that. Uh, first thing. Putting the sign here, sometimes what you see isn't real, and putting it close to a thing that looks suspicious and yet has nothing to do with this, and far away from the thing that actually matters, is... a bit weird. Especially because of the second point, which is that the reveal spell is very fiddly. I used my reveal spell right here. Uh, apparently I just wasn't close enough to actually reveal this stuff. Uh, I don't know if the reveal spell works based on what you're actually looking at, or if it's simply a proximity thing. In other words, if I was standing here in front of this mess and I was, you know, staring off in this direction, would it have worked? Would it have not worked? I don't know, but... I got the clue, and I used it on the closest logical thing, and it didn't work. But you're supposed to use it on a bunch of levers? Like, there's no logical reason to think it's connected. It's far away from it. I used the reveal spell in here, and I don't know what its range is, so I, I kind of just assumed if anything in here could have been revealed, it would have been, because I used reveal spell in here. And why the fuck would a bunch of levers be something that you reveal? That's so weird. Because so far, reveal has been used to show things that don't exist, not to make things change. And that's basically what this did. It, it changed from a, a bank of levers into a single lever. Which is... weird. Alright, well, let's go back here. Hello? Uh, yeah, apparently, by the way, if you come here and you can actually talk to the Sisters of Adernium instead of killing them, they apparently put you through some sort of a test. Obviously, I have not spoken to them, so I have no idea what the hell the test is, or what it's about. I'm assuming this is part of it. And there is Zohark. Wait, so does... I just pick it up? Like, <laughs> there's nothing else to do? Seems too easy. Oh wait, no, that's not Zohark, is it? That's a crystal ball. Shit, that's not Zohark. Or, yeah, Zohark. I keep confusing Zohark and Krahaz. Okay, bunch of rooms. Lever thingy. Looks like it just keeps showing me the same place. I always think these orbs are something I can pick up. They just look like it. You know, it's a glowing orb on a pedestal. <laughs> this is probably going to be exceptionally hard, given that I have not spoken to the sisters, so I don't have any guidance. I'm probably going to have to look this one up, too. Oh, great. There's apparently six of them. Another golden snake? Huh. Hmm, that one went down. I think the other ones went up. I'm assuming these need to be pressed in a certain order. That one goes down. Down. Didn't the other side go up? Oh, no, they all went down. Never mind. 
Right. I have absolutely no way of knowing in which order they're supposed to be pressed. I also don't get the point of this orb, this viewing orb, that shows me a room ten feet away. See, now I just feel like I should be using my reveal spell everywhere. Nope. <laughs> yeah, given that this is supposed to be part of some test. But obviously that's not happening. I feel like I should just look this up. Because I have no way to know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing here. I could press them randomly, but that is incredibly dumb and a complete waste of my time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know in which order I'm supposed to press them. Or what the hell I'm even supposed to be doing here. That is, if I follow the quest line normally. If I follow this normally, you know, what would I be doing here at this point? I think this would be part of the test, but... I guess if I unlock, or do that correctly, it probably unlocks this. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I know the solution. Um, I just kind of looked up a video of somebody doing it, and I didn't study it closely, but it seems like you're supposed to basically use the orb to figure out which one to press. Uh, I guess the trick being that when you look through it, it's indistinct, right? You know, which room is this? So what I saw somebody doing is just putting down, like, random crap on the ground, so that when you look through it, you can know which one is which. So, let's give that a shot. Gold bar. Glowy heart. Potion. Strangely green-tinted weapon, as if you've covered the entire thing in poison instead of just the tip, which seems very dangerous to whoever's holding it unless they're wearing gloves. Yes. Gem. And a pickaxe, which is fucking huge. That pickaxe really does just seem so, so large. Okay, so... Let's see if it stays on that one. It does. So, the heart. <laughs> Alright, and then it's probably going to switch to a different view, right? Yeah, now the weapon. Okay. What a dull puzzle. Wait, which one was it? I don't even remember. I was just thinking of how dull this puzzle was, and then I lost it. Weapon. I wonder if, if you do this normally, and you actually talk to the Sisters of Adernium, if you'd have some sort of guidance telling you that you're supposed to be figuring it, uh, using the orb to figure out which order to press them in, but... Uh, regardless, that that's the key thing that's missing here, like... The idea of... Um, having to figure out which one to press in which order by looking through the orb and every room is... indistinct until you change it is, is actually pretty cool. But th there's just one little thing missing, just that little oomph, like it, it wouldn't take much. It's not some major redesign that would be needed, it just... 
you gotta tell me that I'm supposed to actually be using this orb to figure out which order to press them in. Especially when I'm already quite lost, because... You're not really supposed to have killed the Sisters of Adernium, even though they allow you to. It's not just that they allow you to kill the NPCs, but they allow you to get into a position where the NPCs try to kill you, and then when you defend yourself, now the entire faction hates you. So it wasn't even as if I was intentionally trying to aggravate them. I mean, obviously, if you just start shooting at people, they're going to hate you, but, you know, they attacked me first, even though I did absolutely nothing violent to them before to provoke them. So, I mean, it, the whole situation is kind of crap, to be honest. They should have never... They should have never allowed it to, to come to this. I mean, if you're going to make this a valid pathway, then you have to accommodate that fact and make it so that this, this quest to find... Zohark actually makes some sense if you do anger the Sisters of Adernium. It's basically like if you anger the Sisters of, sisters of Adernium, you're fucked. Good luck. Look it up online because you'll have no idea what the hell you're supposed to be doing. God, is this ever going to end? How many do you want me to press? Okay, thank God. A fake golden snake. Why the hell would I want that? I already have a real one. There's two pathways here, the longest route and the shortest, and I've heard and I've heard people say that you should take the shortest, and in the video that I saw of somebody doing the previous thing I just did back there, they took the shortest, so let's just do this. <laughs> it's very, very strange, isn't it? it? Looks so weird. Everything gets so tiny. I think it should be a cutscene here, right? Yep. Hi. You look like me. Hmm, how much do you hurt? Not much. Do you know what's really gonna hurt you, though? Chaos! Yeah. Take that, Gray Man. Jesus, I'm getting like two FPS. What is this? Come on, there we go. Now it's back. A <laughs> cursed ring of misery. Ah. Oh. Ooh, hello. Where do I open it? Okay. 
It actually worked. I didn't actually know that would work, it's just that reveal seems to do a lot in this place, so I figured, why the hell not? Doesn't actually tell me how to get in there, though. Actually, you know what? Maybe... Maybe that opened it on the other side of the mirror. You think? So that opens it on the original side of the mirror. Or... Not? If I didn't cast Reveal, would that have worked? I don't know. Whoa. Uh, one of those, huh? So if I go this way, it's always going to do that? Yep. Well done. You have proved yourself worthy. Oh, oh, done. Alright, test done. Awesome. Zohark, please. Oh, load of shit. What if I go this way? Oh, same thing? So you do have to go back this way. What if I go really, really fast? Infinite running! doorway here. Okay. That doesn't work. Oh, it's another one of those buttons. Hello. It's so dark. Guess we passed the script trigger. Cool. Okay, now we come to the other side of this thing, which is where I was trying to originally get by going down to level 7. Is this it? Hey, where's my prize? The fucking empty cup. If this is not the genuine article, it's not worth a... Th oh, wait, this is for the uh, snake, isn't it? If this is not the genuine article, it is not worth a thing. So you all just say the same thing. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. So, it's saying that it can't be the fake snake? But then why did it even give me the fake snake? Why, why does that even exist? So it's gotta be the real one? Sweet! Also, why did that seem to shoot out, like, magic missiles? I'm glad I wasn't standing there. That looked very painful. So, Hark. Hello. Oh, God. Hi. You're gonna murder me, aren't you? Shit. And they turn back to statues. I wonder if they would have tried to kill me, uh, kill me if I wasn't enemies of them already. All right, come back here, please. Thank you. No, statues don't have any statuesque loot. What is that? That faint cloud in the sky above her. 
Is that a blurry puddle of statue blood? Huh. Pretty. Okay, uh, what am I supposed to do with these again? Now that I have them both, it's time for me to return to the Temple of Akba and destroy the meteor once and for all. Oh, yeah! Hell yeah, let's go do that. Time to finish what I st- Arded? What's this? Nothing can stop my incarnation on Arks now. It is far too late. But why should we fight? Join me. You too are a prisoner of the Dogen, and I alone. Classic. Side with the devil, sell your soul for power, potentially. Or be the good guy. Well, he's creepy as hell, so no thanks. He'll probably just eat me or something. Okay, uh, Temple of Akba is... I don't know about you, but when I look over these maps, they're like meaningless to me. Just blobs of parchment colored hallways. Where the fuck is. Okay, that's the troll mine, I know that. I know that's the goblin base. Where the hell is the Temple of Akba? Wasn't it. this? I thought it was on level 1. I know you access... Uh, one of the ways you can access it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there's two access points, right? Yeah, there's two. There's an access point from the Goblin's Place, and then there's also the front entrance that you get through the, uh, the tavern. The Goblin's Place is... here. Yeah, so let's go to level two. Hey, buddy. Sorry, I still have no idea what to give you. Unless, uh, you want a fake golden snake? How does that please you? Oh, not good present. Still sad. I'm s- I'm sorry, Gru. Okay, gotta go up, gotta go around. Yep, 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 yep. Somewhere around here. Um, I think it's back here, in the main hallway. Yeah, wasn't it here? Yeah. So there's a button somewhere, right? Wasn't there? That better not have been a one-time thing. It might have been. 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Whoa. I better save it, and I think I better queue up some spells. Let's also get chaos in there, because that seems quite effective. Also need to remember the heal spell, which is... Hello. Sound the alarm! For a second I thought you were the blind guy. Evidently you're not. Let's return to this extraordinarily loud thing, and let's burst our eardrums anew. Was it hurting me, or was I hurting it? Or maybe neither? Oh wait, did it just- oh, it just sucked my, uh, mana, didn't it? I think it did. Hold on, let's check. At zero? Come on. Give me give me one mana point at some point. Sometime this year, please. No? Okay. Mmm. Didn't seem to work. Oh, you know what? Maybe I need to be wearing them. Yeah, I probably need to be wearing them. They'll tell the council of our victory. I should be able to return to the node now. Yeah, something tells me that isn't the end of the game. It seems too simple. Cult powder. Say that ten times fast. Cult cult cult. Can I brew the best potion in the world with it? Where did my casterly rings go? No, oh, God, I almost put that on. That was a cursed ring of misery. No. There we go. What the bloody hell is it? I'm gonna sort my inventory. Hungry. Did... Did you say you're hungry? Wait, Amshagar, you actually have a functioning stomach? He actually needs food? This is the first time he's ever said he's hungry in the entire game. And I've been playing for over like 15 hours. I think. Wow. I guess the anti-hunger spell actually does have a use. Where's my other casting ring? There it is. Elusive little bugger. Alright, well, let's uh, eat some food. I don't think I have any on me, do I? Hmm. 
No. No. Hmm. Can I snort the cold powder? No. You know, I feel like I just reach my hand out to the wall and tear off a chunk of meat. Probably snack on that. Let's feed myself with magic. You know what, that sound, actually. Um, the sound. That sounds very, very similar to the sound you hear. Um, what is it? I think it's the sound you hear when you scare away the fireflies in The Void. It's the game, uh, the game The Void by Icepick Lodge. I think they're called the Fireflies. They're the little things on the ground that collect color. And if you get near them, you scare them away, but you can also lay down traps, and if you catch them while they're feeding on the color that you put on the ground, they, uh, you can take their color. Yeah, it sounds just like them, actually. When you scare them away, I think. It was an oddly specific thing to remember. Right, I need to go back, right? It's been destroyed, uh-huh. Yet oddly enough, Silib Nereth has not called me back to the Noden. I must return to the kingdom and see if I can find a way to get back to the Noden. Whoa. Very well, Guardian. I see that you have rejected my generous offer. Perhaps our next meeting will see you bitterly regretting your decision. Did you really think that destroying this meteor would stop my incarnation? The remaining channel is just enough for me to follow. I may not have the strength that the sacrifice of these pathetic followers would have given me. But when I arrive, my energy will quickly grow strong with all these souls to drink. Hmm, he said I rejected his offer. I wonder if I actually had a choice. Could I actually have joined him? And if so, how? Anyway, well, I will return to the kingdom and see what's going on in the next episode. So, made some really good progress these past couple episodes. Been enjoying this game quite a bit. Despite the occasional frustrations, is it's still a really, really good game, and I'm incredibly impressed with it. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.